frustrating result, but do you think your side deserved any more than what they got? No. Uh, when you uh, we lose the game, start first half, start second half, and when you start a game like this, yeah, you uh, you could beat. What was the biggest frustration for you? Was it, I know those areas in the first. Was it I guess out of position for the first goal, the free kick? I guess it's hard to stop, but then the way your side came out. Of it. I think the, the free kick is to stop, stoppable. Because we are, the wall is too too far. Uh, okay, small detail, but details makes a difference in top football. But the, uh, but it tells everything from us because we were not fresh. Uh, and when you start the game, you always have uh, the attitude. And that was, I think, that was uh, one of our best standards. We are really front foot. We are really ready to play in all the games till now. And today we were not from the start. And then you're running behind the facts, and um, we didn't let them run, uh, especially in, uh, in, the, in the start of the game, and we didn't follow the rules in defending, and we lose our battles. Uh, Eric, when you just before the second half started, you walked out onto the pitch to speak to the players. Was that because you were unhappy with the start of the first half and the lack of pressing, or was it something else? Or? No, it was just uh, one detail. I forgot to say in the half time uh, I could I could make that point, and I thought um, the second part of the first half we played well, and we created uh, two really good chances with Canacho and with Ronaldo, and then we scored the goal, so we were back in the game. So we uh, we were hopeful in half time we could turn around this, and everyone had that had that feeling, and with that attitude we. Went out, but then you give the you give the game away, same as first half uh, in the start of the uh, second half. And you, you did make changes eventually, but you were more proactive. It seemed against Real Sociedad when you made changes before the hour. It was a bit later this time. What, what was the thinking behind that? No, I think we also now we make three ships on 60, 65, huh? so not that much later. You just mentioned there about the, sorry, the, the players forgetting the rules. I think you said something similar after the, the City game. Do you find that hard to explain why the players still, after a few months working with you, are still in this situation where occasionally they're forgetting what they need to do? Yeah, but it's football. I already long time in football, and there are uh, persons, human beings, are not robots, and uh, sometimes it's the way it is, and it's uh, psychological, but it's not acceptable. <laughs> don't get me wrong, eh? we have to be ready for every game and don't give a game so easy away. Michael. Hi Eric, was this a game that underlines how important Bruno Fernandes is for your team? Um, Bruno Fernandes is an important player, but what you want to express, no I don't have that feeling, it's about also the players who are now on the pitch have to win this game and they can do their work. And, and if they do their work, so if they do their job, 100% uh, um, with passion and desire, following the rules and the principles of football, uh, then we win this game. And how did you feel, Donny, did in Bruno's absence, he played in the same position obviously? That is that's always difficult when you are playing with 10 others and it's not the day from the team uh, to, to value an individual. Uh, and I think it was collectively uh, that we um, bring a bad performance. Okay. Eric, along with, uh, along with Donny, you've started that, that front three, played against Sociedad as well, with Rashford out on the right. Um, how did you feel Rashford? Do you think he suited to that position out on the right there as well? No, no. Uh, yes, he can play there. Huh? You see also his stats, I think he, play, he scores across all the three positions in front, he scores equal, of almost equal. But for me, best position for Rashford is um, uh, number nine, or coming out from the left, uh, clear. Uh, but uh, uh, we have in our front line, we have our problems. And yeah, so for this game, it was the best balance. Eric, did uh, Aston Villa shine surprise you today? Uh, surprise. We, we didn't know, 
uh, new manager coming in, what are you going to do? And it, uh, and we know, we knew before. Uh, okay, we have to read it uh, because he will change. So yeah, surprise is not the right word, uh, but we had to have to adapt. But that and uh, that is what I can expect from uh, from our players um, that we read that organization. And if we follow the rules, and especially when we win the battles, and especially when we keep the ball, uh, then it's no problem. Uh, then you uh, surviving the start of the game. Uh, you don't get back. You don't come down. And sorry, you don't come down. And yeah, you are in the game. And then you saw second half of um, first half, and then you can dictate the game. So and that is uh, uh, what we have to learn. Sorry. Last two, one at the front and one at the back. You've been on such a good run. How big a setback is this for you? Uh, it disappointed, but I know in the process it will not go only the way up. And setbacks will come and we have to deal with that. Cristiano was captain today. Can you just say a little word on, on, on him getting the arm man and his contribution? Yeah, it's about... Um, uh, Harry Maguire is on the bench, our captain. Bruno is uh, our captain, he's not available. And then it's about David De Gea, leader, but goalie uh, is far away from, from the outfield. Then Casimiro is the leader. Uh, Licha, Licha can it be if it will leader. Uh, uh, Casimiro is not speaking 100% perfect English. And then uh, Cristiano is the leader. And I think. Uh, Especially is the leader of the, of the team, so then he is the band, clear. Last question, Carl. This is Tanak. Speaking of Cristiano, it seems as if you were trying to deliver little crosses in, in the second half of the first half. Is this something you're going to try more to, to help Ronaldo than break the air for him? No, I think it was stupid to do that. <laughs> huh? Because we delivered too quickly crosses in from too far and too much forcing, then we don't help him. Well, we have to bring in. The, the crosses in the right moment. So this was more something you corrected in the second half rather than something you told them to do? Corrected it in the second half? I, I, no, we didn't. I think in the second half also we bring too, too quick the crosses in. The, the right moment was from Christian Eriksen eh, in the first half. Eh, there you find the moment, eh, I think he was in the pocket, to deliver the ball eh, to Cristiano on far post. That was the right moment. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah.